just starting this document with um, this beautiful piece by Kathy Guiyu. And then we'll move over to another amazing landscape and then we'll walk through the show. Um, I've taken these pieces down already. We had to test for the next show. But uh, I just thought, what a beautiful way to start a video. And this one. Are in to Barbara Sohn's wonderful, wonderful landscape. So again, another wonderful breath of fresh air from Breath Heart Spirit, which is the name of this show. And I'll walk through it. This is a Roger Sutcliffe piece. And I'll walk through it now. I hung this. I hung this on the side. Go that way. Hung this on the side. And uh, what I did was with uh, Elizabeth Jackson Hall. It just seemed to make a lot of sense to me. Just to emphasize perhaps some of the the angst, the anguish, the, the pressure uh, upon the spirit, upon the breath. And before we move forward, a close-up on Sue Gamble's close-up of the close-up of the northern landscape. Because as we move into this piece, it's so beautiful. Okay, now gonna, we'll start the second half with the Velveteen Rabbit, which we all remember. I guess part of Breath, Heart, and Spirit is, is memories, wonderful memories of childhood. And here, is a memory, it's an abstracted memory of Perry Sound by Helena Kwan. Thank you, Helena, that's a beautiful piece. Another landscape which people may recognize from the invitation. And this is a piece by Kwan Steele, which is simply titled Land of the Messenger. We move on to not the chair, but the piece by Janet Hendershot. You know, sort of a segment of the of the landscape. That kind of geometry of geology. Which I like. And again, back to memory, the spirit. Diana's piece, her kind of series of examinations of this object that she's created, which is both precious and found in a sense. Um, there's a beautiful symmetry to it. Uh, and action, somehow action. Something about lifting the heart, lifting the spirit. Carmel Brennan. Beautiful. And very north, very north. Some sort of wild Moose River, or where is it here? Uh, this one's called Orkney Winter, which is, of course, not in northern Ontario, but definitely reminds me of northern Ontario. So, I don't know who this guy is. This one's called Fleeting Moments of Joy, and there's an image buried within the image. So the, the geometry, the lattice work, covers over a, an image of young people enjoying life.
Cherry Park Spark. I'm going to get the whole image in here soon. There. The new and the old, the breath, heart, spirit of the young, new Canadian in this traditional setting, a beautifully traditional setting. Okay, we'll move to the next guy. Stuart, talk to me about the animals that are visible in his sculpture. Many animals that he sees. And I'm definitely seeing that from this perspective the eye. Let me move up here. I think there's fish. There's fish. There's fish. And tails and things. This is, a, this is a piece, again, I'm seeing a lot of breath in it, a lot of spirit, but it's almost a piece that you, you want to voyage through. You want to come in and experience every color and fold and, and these lines that run through it. Quite something. Very adventurous piece. today to today and here we are with Nancy Moore's snow silhouettes the snow silhouettes of Nancy Moore if we go inside inside the forest walk through wondering about the the denizens of that forest Beautifully painted. Let me skip over. We see Rogers' Ontario piece in the back. Keep working, pushing, breaking rules, experimenting, focused, having fun. And then to this charming piece by Claire. We've got by Claire Ross. We can see the. I said to Claire, it was almost like some sort of a Mandela or some sort of a meditation using these fragments from a nest. And I think somehow Claire is, is, is an alchemist in many ways. She is, she honors the nature in such a way and rearranges to create something different from the parts. And beautiful work. And honored to have Sharon Corrigan Forests. Beautiful piece. Somehow this is spirit to me. I, I feel that that those almost unseen kind of flashes of light. Um rising up into the sky. And now we come into the, the long gallery, Dominique Prival. And as you can see, this piece, we can almost go right underneath it. Have a view of it from there. A very cool print. Ink and wash on heritage paper. This sort of strata of the landscape. 
think many of the pieces are about that that spirit of nature, that connection to nature. De definitely um, Bao Xingjiang school spirit. And we appreciate it here in the north, the snow, the Canada geese, the, yeah, it's wonderful. And then the, that's an addition of tradition. Beautifully, Sumi, Chinese ink on paper. It says it's acrylic paint, so I was wrong. Francis Patella. This one takes examination. You start to see the forest burning in one part. And you start to see the care, the paint early strokes. The expression of that landscape. And it's created through collage and mixed media. Seems it may be even High Park or one of the parks in Toronto. But it is talking about breath. Perhaps the, the loss of breath in some, in some cases, in some places. Here we have a shot from someone coming into to, uh, the north, probably on vacation. Yes, Adam. Adam C. X. Chunchang. Beautiful. It's a jack pine, but it's not from the group of seven. It's the the evolution of the jack pine. A second by Pat. Adrian Duma Hudeki. Here is the memory. Here is that happy memory. That spirit of memory. In the exercise book. Very faithfully recorded. Down to the edges. The frayed edges. Folded edges. And that beautiful text. That evokes so much with us. Here's our own Linda Finn. And Linda's been a friend for many years. And this work is very close to another project we do called Broken Forest. But it's tough for me to really get in without my shadow, but I wanted to show you that it is laced with words. You can see along the edges of the piece feed. The forest feeds us. Beautifully constructed, sewn. And again, our breath is very influenced by water. It sustains us. Here again is that, that deep memory that affects our spirits, especially here in the north. David Paolini's diptych, two scenes from Sudbury. And these struck me, I just, you know, they are very much a part of the north, this type of uh, construction, the, the, the fact that there's there's obviously human endeavor here, but there's no humans in sight, even in this one. No humans in sight. It's a wonderful piece. And this one again comes close to the old growth resurrection um, that we're doing in Toronto next, in Josie Britton. And I hope Josie will consider entering a piece for that show. This one really glistens and and you really get the feel of, of the landscape as I move in. It very photographic, but I think that's because you really feel the light. Feel the light, the breath of the light. This 
piece by uh, Douglas Stratford, Douglas John James Stratford. Reminiscent, it's, it's like an experiment that comes out of his love of Canadian painting. And I see both fungus and trees here. I see the whole forest in this image. So delicately balanced, wonderfully balanced. It is abstraction, it is color, it is geometry. A wonderful work. Petite work, very hard for me to document here to give it its true value because it's, as you can see, affected by reflection. But the artist, the artist in Cher, Cher Paris, the artist at work. I hung these by Kim, not exactly together as they were presented, but just a little offset, just to sort of give them that, the quality of themselves, as well as the quality of the two. We can stitch this, this title flat together, and we can focus on the pink flowers at the bottom. Okay, we'll move around to the second Sue Gamble. We can move in and follow the crow's flight up, up into the field. A field around Earlton, and I really, I know that, uh, I know where this is. It was great to have the northern breath, heart, and spirit sent to us by Sue Gamble. Wonderful artist. This one is like a map. A map of North Bay. Uh, from above, of course. But as we film it and as we look at it, it, it can be any direction. It can, um, it can adapt to our viewing. But I do see the lake. I see our beautiful Lake Nipissing there. And then this, this sort of gateway to this entrance to the north. One of my favorite paintings from the show by Zhang Mead Park. As we move in, we begin to see the, the musical notations, the tiny little sketches, the little moments behind, the flaring of the, the costume, dancing very much a musical piece, a musical piece. Thank you, Jenny, for that. I'm going to go back here to capture Barbara Simmons. There's two in this series, What's Left and Another. Just chose the one for now because it, uh, it's so striking on its own and this one has no habitations in it. This is this is more the the beauty of without human kind of civilization. Let me make that one of Barbara's. Robin Kingsborough. This is to me this is bark. This is bark. And this is a mixed media piece and I'm assuming this may be even photographs. But what has happened is it's now become color field. Um, it's now entered the sort of area of contemporary art tradition. And uh, color abstraction. For us in North Bay, this image by Sue Ennis is very evocative. We see this every day. This line of the horizon and the sun sort of breaking through somewhere 
somewhere above, behind. We can't see the break, but it's there. It's coming through to illuminate the water. Joseph Muscat. Fujama. Again, the crow. His influences. His FaceTime. Almost has a feeling of technology. So many different methods and means to come to this. So much, so many stories there. Min Su Kim brings us the traditions of Korea and brings them to Canada, to Northern Ontario. The animal spirits tell us much. Second piece here by this is by Linda Lin. I'm gonna start of let's end with that one. No, we won't. Well, this is Linda Lin. And just again those moments. Those still moments that lighten us and that uh, buoy up our spirits. Linda Lin. Sunburst. Well, this one is Linda Lynn, also called Sunburst. So I have a feeling that we've got the wrong title on this, but I want to come back to this. Just want to finish off here one of my favorite paintings by Sue Archibald in the show. And you know, Sue, why I like this one so much is the freedom in it, the freedom in every plane and every curve of the landscape. But then if we move in, we go down here to the, the train, the little, little engine that could, moving up into the landscape, but benignly, somehow happily, somehow thinking more about, not sadly about how we are interacting through travel across the landscape, but, but more fitting in, being a part of this, story and so i really did appreciate that one up the rock to the edge of the sea by sue archibald then i had three images here go quickly through we're almost done so this piece by margaret sarah party i guess it's called just hanging out but i think i have the title wrong i think this might be bison. This is bison. To me, this was redolent of the spirit. Sorry, of the breath. I could feel the breath of this animal. So beautifully rendered, and that is what hit me first, was the breath of the bison. And then we move to The Heart by Nancy Shalit. Nancy, I, I saw this both as a sort of Rembrandt symbol, and I, I felt that in the work, that there was some of Rembrandt in there, but also that idea, those two pairs together seem to make one heart. So that was The Heart. That, that greeted people as they came in to the show. And then Carol Westcott, so what's left? This is, is, to me, was the spirit as well. I felt this is the spirit of our exhibition. It's not always sort of idyllic and beautiful, and it's, it's sometimes foreboding, sometimes mysterious. Breath, heart, spirit. Thank you, OSA. Thank you, NRCC members. Uh, 
What a beautiful exhibition here at the Nova Gallery in North Bay, Ontario.